Imagine that it's the middle of August and it's yet another 100 degree day here in Boulder. The AC in your car gave out last week and you're just sitting in rush hour traffic, baking in the heat. Now you're feeling a bit cranky, right? Maybe a little bit more likely to lay on that horn than you might under cooler conditions. So my name is Ryan Harp and I'm a climate scientist interested in how the climate impacts our lives. It's well established that higher temperatures lead to increased rates of crime. But why? So there's two main ideas. The first is that extreme heat scenario that we envisioned earlier. Basically, when it's really hot out, our body gets physically agitated and we're a little bit more likely to do something aggressive. And this is only going to come into play in the summer when extreme heat can occur and it's only going to impact violent crime. The second potential explanation is the idea that we need three things to come together for a crime to occur. We need someone looking to commit a crime, we need a potential victim, and we need the lack of a guardian who can prevent that crime from occurring. In warmer weather, especially in the winter, when, <clears throat> especially in the, uh, warmer weather, especially in the winter, when conditions are generally poor and people are hiding indoors, more people are going to leave their homes, they're going to go out to eat, they're going to go shopping, whatever it might be. But the warmer weather is increasing the chances that those three things are going to come together. But what's really driving this temperature crime connection? So to solve this puzzle, we compared crime data with climate data from over 16,000 cities around the US. We found that even though there's about 20% more violent crime in the summer than in the winter, the link between higher temperatures and increased violent crime is stronger in the winter when we see about 1% more violent crime for each additional degree Fahrenheit. So this gives some evidence for that second theory. To reiterate, when the harshest seasons are briefly more pleasant, more people leave their homes, there's greater victim availability, and higher rates of crime. We also uncovered a relationship between higher temperatures and increased rates of property crime, things like theft. They could only be explained by that second theory. Now, before I instill any unnecessary fear, yes, we do expect there to be more crime in the warmer weathers of a climate changed world. In fact, we estimate tens of thousands of additional violent crimes each year in the US alone. But this can be offset through increased police presence. Ultimately, the main takeaway here might just be that the climate impacts our lives in many more ways than we typically discuss, including our health and our safety. Thank you.